very bright today. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all good today. So today I am going to be doing a makeup look. I am trying out one of the new iHeart Revolution mini palettes. So I've got two here. I've got the iHeart Revolution Black Pearl palette, which is this. So I'm feeling this palette, I'm gonna create a smoky eye look. And then the other palette I've got is iHeart Revolution White Gold Mini Eyeshadow Palette, which I've kind of got a look in my head what I want to use. I have tried out these looks beforehand, before filming this video, and I like the looks what I created with, so I thought I'd show them to you guys what looks I created with these palettes. I'm going to start off with the white gold palette today, so if you are interested to see what look I come out with the black pearl, then make sure you hit subscribe button, keep a look out for that video, and a makeup look with this palette will come shortly, so hold on tight for that. If you haven't seen me before and you like to watch makeup videos, hit the subscribe button if you like, if you want to see more of my videos. And yeah, let's just go into the makeup. It is very hot today, so if I'm looking a tad red on my cheeks, I have been on a long walk with my husky, done about 12,000 steps, so not too shabby. I'm quite proud of that. So I'm going to start off with priming my eyes. I'm going to go in the Eye Heart Revolution Heartbreakers Concealer. I've got this in the shade Custard, cancelling out the veins on my eyelids. This is a look. Okay, so eyes are now primed. So this is the palette up close. It's in this a gold packaging. It said on the website, it's got that chocolate scent. Here we go. And look at that. It's so cute and diddy. So this eyeshadow palette has eight shades inside. It's got a lot of neutral gold tone. I can't even go into it. That's a great start. So this palette has gold, neutral and nude shades. Probably good for an everyday look, but today I'm gonna to try to go for an everyday glam look, maybe. Mix it up a bit. You can tell which shades I've been in. It looks like I've been in all the shades. I, I did swatch them, but this shade I really, really like in the palette, and I like this shade as well. So we're gonna play with these. First, I'm gonna focus on with this shade in the corner here. They don't have any shade names to them. It's just this. I'm just gonna go in my Real Techniques blending brush and I'm just gonna go in this brown here. It has a mirror as well, which is handy. So we're gonna use the mirror today. I'm just gonna put this color all over the lid just as a starter. I've been trying to use different brushes because I do have problems with my eyes. I get like gaps in my eye socket. So I'm trying to use more of a, a detailed brush. These are Unicorn Cosmetics. Honestly, I feel like the moment this video is going to go on, I'm just going to get so red on my face. I am absolutely burning up right now. I don't know why I've got a hoodie on. I have got shorts on, on the bottom half, but it's very bloody hot. Next shade I went in is this, it's like a really dark purple. I'm just going to put that in each corner of my eye. I'm going to try and put a shimmer in the middle as well. So. I'm gonna put that dark purple in that outer corner first. Put it in the inner corner as well. Looking a bit crazy at the minute. I'm trying to leave a gap in the middle of it. On top of that, I'm just gonna try blend it out with that same color what we used the first time around, and it's this brown one. This has gone crazy. Okay, so this is the situation, right? I'm gonna go back into that concealer what I used at the start and this is where we're gonna place it in the middle just so shimmers can pop on top of it more, I guess. I'm gonna go in a flat brush. Like that. I'm just gonna pat it down with my finger just to get off the excess. The next shade I went into was this gold shade here. Use a really fine flat brush for this and I'm going to pop it where we put the concealer. Look how that shows up. So pretty. Very, very pretty. And then on top of that, I'm going to go in this highlighty shade here and I'm just going to put a bit on top and then I'm going to go in the shade next to it and I'm going to put that on top as well using Quite of a combo of colours here. Might use my finger for this. 
and just tap it until I feel like I got a colour. Whoa. Okay. So I feel like it's covered the bit of the darkness. So I'm going to go back into that dark, deep purple and I'm going to go on the outer edge and the inner edge again. Just so it hasn't looked like it's been covered up. Like that. There we go. So for the inner corner, I'm going to go in the highlighter shade again and I'm going to go in my pinky and just go straight in there to create that colour. Like that. So it's a bit mitchy matchy. And then I'm going to go in this shade here and I'm going to go on top of it. Like that. That gives a nice colour to it. Oh, I like that inner corner. That is so nice. Oh, love it. I feel like it will look a lot better once all the makeup is on, of course. So I'm going to do the right off camera, but that's basically what I've done. I've used... How many shades have I used out of this palette? I've used six shades out of the palette. I feel like I've used quite a lot out of the palette so far and I'm happy with it. Judging from the colours what I've used, it is pigmented. Definitely. And I didn't have to use a lot of my fingers. I only had to use my finger once for this shade. Normally I use my fingers all the time for shimmers, but I feel like with this palette, I didn't need to do that. So that was really good. Quite easy, fair to do. I tried to make these makeup looks quite easy to follow. You know, I'm not a makeup artist. Um, I just like to have fun with makeup. And I hope you guys that are watching this are the same as well. So. We don't like to try hard here, we don't like to be too serious, we just like to have fun. So I shall see you in a sec. What on my foundation and concealer? I thought I'd just carry on filming the makeup look anyway because I feel like I don't have enough footage. But the primer and foundation I went into today was the, the both Delilah Cosmetics. I absolutely been loving these products and I have filmed a video, a wear test video on these. I use the same concealer what I use at the start. I'm gonna powder my face using the Jeffree Star Magic Star Conceal it, not conceal it, powder. It's in the shade Fair. So I just put that all over where I've put the concealer, which was around my T-zone. I bought a new brush by the way from Morphe and I want to give it a go. To be fair, I have brought quite a few makeup bits, so I might do a separate video on what makeup stuff I've brought recently, but this is one of the makeup stuff I've brought. This is the Morphe M405, and I might use it just as a contour brush, maybe. I'm gonna go in the Rimmel Coral Glow palette. I'm just gonna use the contour shade in the middle. Give this a go. I think this would be good as a cream contour applicator as well. Yep, I'm liking this brush. It's very precise. Very precise actually, which is what I like in a contour brush. Yeah, I still feel like I'm in red round here. I'm just fading up today. I need to put my hair up or something because, oh my God, I literally cannot cope. Woo! So for bronzer, I'm going to go in my Delilah Cosmetics Sunset Compact Matte Bronzer, which is this. I like to use this in the summer. There we go. For blush, I'm going to go in the I Heart Revolution Heartbreakers. I don't know what the shade this is. Oh, it's in the sh it's a shimmer blush and it's in the shade Strong. This is a beautiful blush. I love it. So I'm just gonna go in the combination of both colors and blush out. This is just gonna make my face even more red. Perfect. Okay, I need, I need a spray. I just need to spray myself. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the iHeart Revolution Fix and Spray Cucumber. I feel like it's something, I'm just using this purely because I'm so hot, right? Oh my God, that feels amazing. <laughs> Woo! Now I'm waiting for that to soak in. I am gonna go in a highlighter, gonna go in my old Imagination palette. This is an old favorite, as you can tell. It's been used 
quite a lot. So I'm gonna go in, slay my life, but I'll try and go in this section, which is always quite hard because all my brushes are really fat and I end up going in both. I'm gonna try going this thin highlighter brush, go in that one there. Maybe let's just try all of them. Um highlight effing out of my nose. And the cupids bow. And then here we go. We are gonna go on a ride here. Shimmer, 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 shimmer me up. I like this. Forgot how nice this highlighter is from the palette. It's very nice for an everyday glam. Why have I gone really dark there? That is not what it's about. Okay, I need to conceal that part of my eye. There's something going on with it. I don't know. Maybe it's because I wore eyeliner before and it's like gone into the creases on my face. Fix it a bit. It's just not to do it. I just look really tired. I'm not. We're just gonna have to try and ignore it. Okay, the lower lash needs doing, so I'm gonna go in that deep purple shade again. I'm going to use this diagonal brush. Go in there. I'm not having much fallout either, which is always good. There we go. I'm gonna try out this new lip product that I haven't tried before. It is by the brand Fakala. That just sounds like a swear word, but I don't know how to pronounce it. You're not gonna be able to see that, are you? Fakala? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it's in this beautiful lip shade. It is a matte lip gloss and it's in the shade Chestnut 07. There we go. I feel like this might look nice with the makeup look. <laughs> Tickles. Um, yeah. Just really put a li lip liner on first, but oh, no shade. This applies on very easy. Yeah. Soft, but nice. I'm gonna go in with a mascara. What mascara shall I go in for? Hot, hot, hot in here. So I'm gonna go in the I Have Revolution Tasty Avocado Mascara. This little thing here. But yeah, I'm still using this mascara ever since I brought it. It's a very nice mascara. It doesn't add volume, but it's quite dainty. I will probably put on a more of a volumizer mascara on after, but for now, it's very nice separating the lashes. I've just used the Revolution Pro Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe. Just on my brows very, very quickly. So quick. I feel like for the lips, it needs a shiny top on so I'm gonna go in the I Heart Revolution Metallic Angel Heart Lip Gloss in the shade White Wings. It's like this, and I feel like this might look nice with it. Yes! I don't wanna go matte, you see. I wanna, you know, have it shine. Okay. Looks a bit glossier, I like that. Yeah, so here is the finished makeup look. I am very dark under that. Try it not. Yeah, I really like it. It's such a fun little palette to use. You can definitely incorporate this into your everyday makeup look. If you want to glam it up a notch, this would definitely be the palette for it. You can also tone it down a bit. If this is too much for you for an everyday look, it probably can be for some people. You can definitely tone it down with just using this color and maybe just a light shimmer on top, maybe this. This is a beautiful inner corner, by the way, on top of the highlighter shade these two together are so nice as a combination love that but yeah overall i'm really happy how the eyes turned out using the palette 
everything keeps dropping off on my table. I forgot if I mentioned the price of this palette. This is six pounds, by the way. Both of the palettes are six pounds. I will be doing a separate video on the Black Pearl palette. Normally, when I've done a makeup look using any new products I've used, I normally read the reviews after, but considering these palettes only just come out, there's no reviews on them yet. So I'm gonna swatch very quickly this palette. I'm gonna do the top row first, and then we've got this deep purple what we use today i really like this color and i thought it was pigmented as well and then this goldy shade here we have not used this color but this does look like an interesting color it's very cool toned it looks very silver but as i'm looking at it in person it kind of looks like it got a khaki really dull green tone to it very interesting color so that's that colour. I really like that. All together, they look really nice. Now onto the bottom row. I'm going to start off this colour here first. And this is the colour that we started off with the look today. It's a nice base colour. And then we also use this colour as well. This looks like a really pretty shade. Oh, it's beautiful. Very, it's got like that very smooth texture to it. Stunning. This shade here, it's very highlighting. That. I really like the shade for it in the corner. You're not going to see well on my skin because I am very pale. But that's that colour, yeah. Underneath, you're not probably not going to see it, but wow. Love them. Very cute palette. Pop that back in the packaging. Very cute. I think this is perfect for traveling as well. Obviously, when we get to travel to places, slot this in your handbag, you're good to go. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Let me know if you got this palette. What did you think of it? Have you tried it out? Is it something you're looking to buy? It's pigmented, quite easy to blend. The shimmers, I didn't have to use many of my fingers, which I normally have to do in palettes. Use a brush and apply it on beautiful. All the colors complement each other. There's not really a shade in there that I disliked. I'm very much looking forward to this. So if you don't know what this looks like, I'll show you very quick what this palette looks like. Yeah, we're going to go with a smoky eye look with this. You can tell I've dipped in. It didn't come like this. I have dipped in the colours. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my makeup videos and of course if you want to see the Black Pearl palette and like the video if you like it of course and I shall see you in the next one hopefully. Bye!